halogen, LED. Halogen, LED. Halogen, LED. <laughs> It has come to my attention that we are now in the year 2020, well, depending on when you're watching this, of course. And LEDs are the new standard in lighting. Whether it's your car or your house, we all have LEDs these days. Luckily, these LED bulbs aren't nearly expensive now as they were when they first came out. So for those of us who still have standard halogen bulbs in our house or our cars, we can run down to our local hardware store buy some new LED bulbs and replace them, just like that. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing today in my vehicle. This right here is a great example of an automotive halogen bulb, 168 style to be exact. It's a glass bulb with two electrodes and a filament in between. That filament heats up and provides the light and it is nice, warm, beautiful light. The downside is it uses a lot of energy and doesn't actually provide a lot of light. That's where LEDs come in. This is the replacement LED for that same halogen bulb. Comparing the height, they are practically exactly the same. But of course, you can see just how thin the LED is versus the halogen. This LED provides much more light while using a lot less power. This LED puts off daylight balanced light, or essentially white light. This LED has a higher output of light while using the same or less energy, we can see more using bulbs like this. I recently put out a video titled Biggest Problem with LED Replacement Bulbs in Your Car or Truck. I'll link it below. That video currently has over 396,000 views. So clearly LEDs are a huge topic, and rightfully so. We are finally able to jump online and order affordable LED replacement bulbs for practically anything, but that does bring another problem. Quality. What type of bulbs should I get? What design should I get? What brand should I get? And unfortunately, I'm not here to tell you most of that information. I'm not an LED expert by any means. All I can tell you is what I've found. My first attempt at replacing all of my vehicle's LEDs was with a bulb like this. Well, matter of fact, this is one of the bulbs and they've all had the same problem. Now you can see the design of this bulb is relatively nice. It's pretty much shaped like that 168 style bulb. It is a little bit bigger, which did pose a problem at the time of installing. But the biggest problem with this bulb was the overheating. You see, pretty much none of these cheap LED bulbs come with any form of heat sink or heat dissipation. And I'll show you right now what happens when they overheat. Things start melting. You can see this little electrode here that's moving in and out. Well, this is the major failure point of this bulb. Now, this isn't because this brand is bad or anything. Matter of fact, I covered up the brand with tape here because we're not talking about brands. We're talking about design and style of LED. And again, I'm not an expert. This is just what I found. If we go ahead and try to light this thing up, all right, we got it. You can see the LEDs actually work perfectly. The problem is all of the other electronics that are within this bulb. They simply overheat and fail. And so this bulb is trash. Let's take a closer look at this LED. With this style, there are no little wires or anything like that that could come loose over time. This is a set it and forget it style LED. Again, I'm not pushing brands here. All I'm saying is that if you're looking for an aftermarket LED replacement bulb, try to get something solid state, so to speak, like this one. You can see just how much better the design is on this bulb than this bulb. Again, what's interesting with this design is every single one of these that I've had have failed in exactly the same way. And that is with this electrode eventually overheating, becoming loose and losing connection. This, in my opinion, is by far a better design. All right, so let's change one of these bulbs to LED. This is the front passenger door of my 2003 Suburban. I've already pre-popped the lens, so let's pull it out. It's actually a very simple process. All we're gonna do is pull this out, and then after we put some gloves on, because this bulb is extremely hot, we can just simply pull it out. Now I'll go ahead and take my LED, and slide it into position. Then we'll take the housing and slide it into there. And we'll just simply slide everything back together, and pop it back in. And wow, look at that. What an incredible difference. Not only did this LED add nice, clear, 
bright light, but it really updates the entire look of the vehicle. Another great place in your vehicle to update to LED is the dome lighting. You can see here, I've already upgraded a few of the bulbs, but there are still a couple left. Okay, so looking around the lens, I do see a little indent here that is meant for a tool to be able to pop the lens down. And it does pop out very easily, just like that. And now looking at it, I can see that these two switched bulbs are the same as the standard middle dome light, which I actually don't have on hand, but this gives you a great example of how easy it is to replace these with LEDs. I can simply jump online, find a good design of this bulb with great reviews, order it, and it should be here within two days. Taking a closer look at these overhead halogen bulbs, we can see there is a model number on the end here. This is a 578 bulb. So let's go ahead and jump on Amazon and type in 578 LED. And look at that. There are plenty of choices. Whoa, hold on for a second, guys. Just hold on. I am from the future. Well, two days into the future to be exact. You see, when you just saw me flipping through my phone looking for a good option on Amazon for these overhead lights, I placed an order and it, it's now been two days and I have it. It's right here. So let's check them out. This is what I decided on and it's mostly because this is what I bought before and they've been working pretty good so far. Why not go for the same thing? They do look like they have a little bit different of a design. So let's open these things up and check them out. Here they are. Look at that. I gotta say, these things are freaking beautiful. Look at all those LEDs. I mean, there's a ton of them on there. And if we look at the back here, you can see there is an attempt for a heat sink on the back. I'm not exactly sure how effective this heat sink is, but hey, at least it's there and hopefully it works. Looking at the front, you can see there are a ton of LEDs on this. What is that? 16? Four rows of four. 16 LEDs on this thing. Wow. So I'm stoked right now, guys. Let's go ahead and put these in and see what they look like. Okay, so here we are again, guys. You can see the light in the middle has been there for a long time. I swapped that out probably, I don't know, over a year ago or so. And since then, I haven't gotten around to changing these switchable halogen bulbs, but today is the day. All we're gonna do is simply yank one out. And luckily, it's as simple as pushing the new one in. You gotta line it up correctly, though. Going on here. Okay, what's going on? Okay, so right off the bat, I'm having a little bit of a problem with these LEDs. If you take a look at just how long they are, they're actually a little longer than the outgoing halogen bulb, and that is posing a problem. So I think the easiest way to remedy this is just to use my fingers and push these electrical contacts a little bit wider. So I'm just gonna use my thumb here and try to get in here and just widen the stance, hopefully not breaking anything. There we go. Seems easy enough. Let's see if that worked. All right, worked. Switch it off so I don't blind myself. Right on. The design in these two LEDs is definitely apparent. There's nine LEDs on this older style, which has been in here for a while and works great. And there's 16 on this newer style. Okay, we have them both switched out now. I use the same exact process on this side. Let's make sure they both work. There's one, two, and with the cover back on, nice, clear white light. That does look really good. Okay, so if I hit my unlock button, we can see there is one more bulb in the very back there that does need to be replaced, so let's do that now. Okay, so instead of this view, we're now gonna have this view. What a difference. All right, so now with all the lights switched to LEDs, you can see it is just so much brighter in here. Look in here how much light there is. We have all of the dome lighting, the two map lights we just changed out, and we have these door lights. So with the door shut and all the lights on, there is a ton of light in here, a ton. At this point, I think we've seen just how awesome LEDs are. They're not perfect by any means. These things are cheap. They're made cheap and they're probably not gonna last realistically as long as these halogen bulbs were made to last. Now let's get back to the old Jimmy so he can have a chance to further explain what he was talking about. Peace guys.
Now, like I was saying, there are a lot of options for LED replacement bulbs. So what I would do at this point is look for the most sold option with the very best reviews. And usually with the reviews, I'll start with the pictures. To me, that is the easiest way to see exactly what these bulbs look like in other people's hands and how they've been performing because those pictures are connected to their review. So whether you're replacing these with these or these with these, just know that you need to consider first what your bulb is meant to do. For example, in the case of a headlight or a daytime running light, those lights are on all the time. So they will overheat. They need some kind of heat dissipation or heat sink or something like that. So I guess the point of this video was to show you a few LED bulbs that I think are pretty good and to reiterate the fact that you can't just go buy any old LED and expect it to last a long time. You really have to pay attention to the function of the bulb. If you're curious, I'll put links to all the bulbs you've seen in this video down in the description below. But don't take my word for it. Read the reviews, do your own research. And if you have a suggestion for me, leave it down in the comments section below. I'd love to read it. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. I'm Jimmy, this is One Road, and I will see you in the next one.